Hello everyone. Lately I've been receiving a lot of comments and questions about my approach to photography, what kind of lens and camera I use, and I want to make a big video about that soon. In the meantime, here's a video I made for Shutterbug Magazine about my very favorite all-purpose lens, the 50mm. And if you wait until the end of this video, there is a very exciting opportunity in store for a young photographer. Enjoy. Hey, I'm Jordan Matter. I am on Miami Beach for Shutterbug Magazine with a beautiful model to show you how many different ways you can use your Nifty 50 to get some awesome photos. A lot of times you don't feel like carrying around all your gear, especially if you're trekking on the beach, into the ocean, you just want one lens. My choice is the 50 millimeter F1.8. It's inexpensive and it's a great all-purpose lens. Usually when I teach a three-day workshop, the first day is dedicated to just using a 50 millimeter lens. And what I found is it frees up the photographers immensely because they're no longer worried about which lens to choose and instead they're thinking purely composition. If you want to do a beautiful portrait, Set it on f1.8 and put the autofocus on the eye closest to the lens and shoot away. Try shooting an environmental portrait with your 50 millimeter at f1.8 and then shoot it again with a 200 millimeter at f2.8. What you'll see is with the zoom, it compresses the background and blurs it out to such an extent that you can't get the context. The 50 will still blur out the background, but you get a much better feeling for the environment around the subject. Here's a really cool trick for your 50 millimeter lens. Take it off, turn it around, and it can become a macro lens. You're gonna have to get really close to your subject in order to get the image in focus and you're gonna to have to move your body. Suddenly you're manually focusing, but not with your hands, you're using your body to move forward and back until the detail comes into focus. Sports photography, dance photography, your kid is running around in circles and you wanna stop that action. Sometimes the 50 millimeter lens is the best way to go with that. If you're trying to use a kit lens, it's not gonna be fast enough because it's gonna to go to f5.6. You can't let enough light in to get the shutter speed high enough and the ISO low enough to stop the action. I ask Emma Marie to put her head down and then flick it back while she's doing an arabesque. And I know that her foot, her dress, and especially her hair are going to be going extremely fast to stop that action and make it sharp. I'm gonna need a shutter speed of at least one two thousandth of a second. Now, if I'm using a kit lens at f5.6, I'm not gonna be able to get that, but at f2.8, I can. Conditions when you shoot are not always perfect. The subject might run towards you, might run away, you might need to suddenly change your angle, go low, go high. If you've got a bulky lens, it's really hard to be agile. You may be shooting in excessive winds or, as I am, getting smashed by waves. The lighter weight your lens, the easier it is to hold your camera steady. A lot of the best shots come right after a mistake. Emery hits a beautiful pose in the ocean and then she gets taken down by a huge wave and it's a really fun moment. Her reaction is priceless and I want to shoot it. She stands up, she's perfectly composed, but as she moves closer to me, if I'm shooting her at 200 millimeters, she's gonna be out of focus and out of the frame as soon as she moves. The 50 millimeter allows me to keep her in the frame and the composition is still beautiful. You cannot construct that kind of spontaneity, but you want your lens to be able to keep up with it. It gets suddenly dark on M. Marie, but I haven't gotten the shot yet. I'm also asking her to kick her leg up which requires I freeze the action, which means I need a high shutter speed and it's dark, so I have to shoot that at f1.8. The wider open the lens, the more light it allows in, the more it enables you to shoot in the dark. With a kit lens, you're done at dusk. With a 50 millimeter at f1.8, you can keep shooting into the dark. That was a lot of fun. I just usually have so many lenses with me wherever I go, and this time I just had the nifty 50, and the shots were fantastic. All you need is a great model and a 50 millimeter lens and you can get a ton of awesome shots. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video. I promised you an exciting opportunity for a young photographer and here it is. I want you to know what an honor it is for me to be an inspiration to so many of you and now I want to give back. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to offer a surprise photo lesson to a photographer. I don't know who it is, but if you want to nominate them, don't tell them. Send me an email address right here 
and let me know how to get in touch with their parents. And I'm gonna show up and blow their minds with the most awesome photo lesson in history. So please do that now. I'm excited to do this. Thank you very much, have a great day. If you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe. And I promise you, when I reach one million subscribers, I will do the next photo challenge in a leotard and tutu.